How can I uh, record a credit memo to a member, uh, also a customer, and also have it record as expense in your QuickBooks Online? So I'm on home screen here. Uh, so in this example, we're going to use, uh, uh, let's say my club charges $200 monthly dues, and member just bought $30 office supplies with receipt. So how to record a new QuickBook, QuickBooks uh, online so it will sell uh, $170 as net amount due on customer's account screen. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is create invoice as usual for this $200 monthly dues. So here's the A1 member, that's a customer, and the membership account. There's a product code, it's linked to income account, of course membership income account and it's two hundred dollars so that's not hard to do and the second thing you want to do is now how to handle that thirty dollars office supplies the member bought and I want to sell that as expense in our PL and also deduct from uh, uh, this two hundred dollars the first thing you want to do is create new products and services so you go to products and service information uh, from the uh, from the uh, navigation bar, go to list right here. Pro, I'm sorry, not uh, the company gear right here. Here's the company gear. And under uh, list, you will see product and services. And you will come to this and you just click this new. And I already created the, the members, uh, the one for the office supplies is right here. So this is the screen. You want to fill out so product research information or item code and you just want to call office supplies or whatever you want to name it that's okay this, this happens to be for office supplies and this is the critical one it says income account but don't worry about it just select office supplies from your chart of accounts so this is where you want to expense this uh, 30 dollars worth of office expense so select office expense uh, if a member bought uh, something else, just select different account from this list. Anything from your list here. Uh, computer supplies, let's say you this one. So in this case, I'm just using office supplies as an example. So office supplies here, one more time, and you will see office supplies here, office supplies. And that's your expense type. Now you want to re you're ready to create credit memo. So let's create a credit memo. So the credit memo is right here. So in order to create a credit memo, you just uh, select credit memo from here. Here's a credit memo. Plus sign credit memo under customers. Create credit memo right here. And I will create one. $30 so the product service the item code is office supplies that's the one you just created right here that's your best that's from your product services list and in $30 right here let's create $30 okay so now if you go to your customer screen here as you can see here you created $200 actual invoice and you also create thirty dollars worth of credit memo, and you can see it's open and unapplied, and net amount is one hundred seventy dollars. So this is what you're looking for. And now, if you go to your customer's AR easing, as you can see here, this member due is one hundred seventy dollars on AR account receivable easing. So that's the one you get it from this number here, two hundred minus thirty dollars, one seventy. So that's what you see on your account civil. And let's look at it on the PL side. So this is just for this customer only. The sales and service, that's your income, is $200. And office supplies is $30. So when you click this, you will see a transaction report like this $30. $30 has office expense from A1 member. So Basically, that's how you have to do it to get this $170. Uh, I think we it worked out pretty good.
So that's what you have to do. And uh, uh, if you have other questions, just visit our site. Here is our site. Thank you for watching. Bye.